Buffy St. Marie is the first indigenous person to win an Oscar. She's a singer, songwriter, and composer, and longtime activist and trailblazer who's been called a disruptor of the status quo. She's 80 years old now, and she's still going strong. As we celebrate Native American Heritage Month, entertainment guru George Pinocchio has this rare interview with an outspoken artist still painting a picture of what it means to be an Indian. My country, tis of thy people, your dying. Buffy St. Marie never minced words. Her 1964 debut album was even called It's My Way. She was named Billboard's Best New Artist. Some of her songs address the mistreatment of Native Americans. She also wrote the powerful Vietnam protest song, Universal Soldier. He's the one who must decide who's to live and who's to die. And you know, a lot of people, they think that probably my career has been about either getting blacklisted because of Universal Soldier <laughs> or speaking out too strongly on behalf of indigenous people. I think I was seen as a loose cannon saying too much, especially because there was so much Indian land being stolen at the time. So much. There was so much corruption going on. So I kind of got, mm -mm, and, but here I am. Buffy was born on a Canadian Indian reservation, adopted by an American couple, and raised on the East Coast. When I was a little kid, I sat down at the piano and I knew how to play it. But she was shamed in school because she couldn't read music. Buffy later found out she was dyslexic in music notation. Her childhood was very challenging at times, but Buffy knew who she was from an early age. They told me I couldn't be an Indian because there weren't any more around there. This was in Maine and Massachusetts where I was raised. So I was told I couldn't be a musician and I couldn't be an Indian and it just makes me laugh. Merry Christmas, jingle bells, Christ is born and the devil's in hell. While many of Buffy's songs speak to adults, she loved speaking to children. She appeared for years on Sesame Street. They never tried to stereotype me, not at all. You know, they just didn't, they didn't make me the Sesame Street Indian. It wasn't like that. And she became a children's author. That work, just another chapter of her life. In 1983, Buffy became the first indigenous person to win an Oscar. It was for co-writing Up Where We Belong, the best original song from an officer and a gentleman. I still can't believe it. I think I just got lucky. Uh, I did write that melody for Up Where We Belong. da 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 Buffy was just in town for a special Native American Heritage Month celebration at the new Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. Her heritage is her heart, and she is happy to be here to shine a light on Native American talent. Buffy once wrote a song called Carry It On, sharing its poetic power with us. So take heart and take care of your link with life and carry it on, we're saying, and carry it on and keep playing and carry it on and keep praying and carry it on. Carrying on is what Buffy has been doing for decades. Last year I had cancer, but here I am. You know, I had big operation and everything, but here I am. George Pinocchio, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. 80 years old, amazing. To see more Native American Heritage Month stories like this one, download the free ABC7 Los Angeles app for your streaming device.